You know, that was always the dream. Playing When I was five years old, playing flag football at Port Reading Saints. And I realized I was actually pretty good at the game, you know. I always wanted to be just like Terrell Davis, become a running back. And as I got a little bit older, I'm like, all right, I'm going to be like Ray Lewis as a linebacker. Then once they moved me to defensive tackle, here, I'm like, all right, I'm going to find my own pathway. I'm not going to try to be like anybody. But it was always a road to get to the NFL, to, to be able to support my family through the NFL and just play the game I love and get paid for, you know. That's always what it was. And then once I got hurt, you know, it had to just change. It just changed on the drop of a diamond. And I have had so many people in my corner just helping me out with many opportunities, and I've been able to show what I've known to share my knowledge with the game of football and broadcasting has been able to help me out a lot. So, you know, since I can't play, I'm not going to get de get down on myself and dwell on it. You know, everything in life happens for a reason. So just focus now on what I have ahead of me. And if since I can't play in the NFL, just work on other things in my life. I have all these people texting me saying, where can I get your jersey from? Everyone's going on NFL.com and getting this 52 jersey. And I don't even have one yet, but I'll get mine on Friday, so I'm excited about that. I've been doing a lot of actually just coming, getting off the arm bike right now. I wear this, it's this RT300 bike where it has stems on your arms or your legs. Depends what you want to do. And they basically just shock your muscles so it keeps you in shape and everything. Just trying to get a little bit of, you know, muscle contractions. Try to get the flow. I try to do it myself as much as I can. So... Just basically doing that every day, going up to Kessler three times a week. Give him an uplifting speech because Coach Seattle, the nights nice before games, he loves to get motivational speakers in there to uplift the team. So I'll probably talk to him about that when I come down there, talk to the team, get them pumped up before a game. That was when I was watching the draft. And like I said, when I was watching that draft, everything just like came down on me like, wow, this was the year. You know, this is what I was, was dreaming about since I was five years old. This was the day. And when you see all those kids go across the stage, you just think like what I could have done, what what I could have been, where I could have been, or where I could have had my name called in. He was just, wow, I just said, damn, I miss football just thinking about it. Like, well, I miss playing the game. It's the game I love. It's the game that taught me the, the game of life, basically.